Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, got Journey with me. Hello. We're going to be talking about in this class how Hanukkah is the new Christmas. Um, well, I think that's good that you say, because you say Hanukkah is a, one of the good holidays, right? Hanukkah is, yeah, it's one of the uh, holidays that we find in the scripture. So it's found in the book of Maccabees. We find it also in the book of John, where we uh, see that the Messiah celebrated the Feast of Dedication. Um, we've done a few classes covering that. But in this one, we want to talk particularly how Hanukkah is the new Christmas. Hanukkah replaced Christmas. Right. Well, huh? So, um... Obviously, Christmas is the bad holiday, and Hanukkah is the good holiday. Well, you're getting a little bit ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. We, you, There is a lot of people who are debating whether Christians should celebrate Christmas at all. You know, that's been a big debate over the years. And, you know, we're, we don't plan to go, we, put, we don't plan to go into that in too great a detail. You know, we can uh on the origins of Christmas to find out where it came from. However, we're going to look at the one time when Christmas is actually mentioned in the Bible. Actually, times if you include Hanukkah and what we're going to talk about, how Hanukkah replaced Christmas, there is another time that talked about the Christmas tree, and we're going to talk about that in this class. But in this class, we're going to prove it by way of scripture that Hanukkah actually replaces Christmas. Hanukkah is the new Christmas. Okay, now, first thing we need to understand as we're realizing that Hanukkah is the new Christmas is we need to get an idea or get an understanding of a guy named Antiochus Epiphanes. You ever heard that name before? No. This is considered the first Antichrist, born even before the Christ was born. He's considered like the first Antichrist. He's, he's kind of like a type and shadow of what the future Antichrist will be because of the acts that he did and how he's described in the book of Daniel and how the things that he did way back in about 168 BC are the same type of things that Constantine did in about 312 AD and the kind of things that we're waiting for this so-called lawless one to do sometime in the future. So he's like the first Antichrist. Yeah, well, I didn't even know that there was a Antichrist before the actual Christ. Yeah, well, they didn't call him that. It's just that he's like a type and shadow. He's kind of like an example. He's kind of like they say, if you want to see what the Antichrist is going to be like, you would go back and you would look at what Antiochus Epiphanes did. Because somebody in the future is going to do similar to what he did. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. Okay. So now the first thing we want to do to prove that Hanukkah is the new Christmas is we're going to get an understanding about this guy named Antiochus Epiphanes or Antiochus IV. But we realize from Wikipedia and other sources that his original name was Mithridates, so he changed his name. Um, that's a, why did he change his name, though? Well, his uh, first name. Well, we, we can we we'll see what his original name was here in a second. But what he changed his name that Epiphanes there means divinity. So he basically um, changed his name to like the son of God or. Something like that. He he his that his the name Antiochus Epiphanes points to his divinity. He says that he's a god by that name. But his first name did too. That Mithridates. Let's go over there and let's look at where that comes from. Now we can't pronounce this word here because it is the name of a pagan god. But this is the root word to Antiochus Epiphanes original name, his birth name. And like we said, it is the name of a Greek God, the God, what is that? Angelic divinity of covenant, light, and oath. So what we find out is the name Mithridates, which was his original name, means that he was sent by this God. 
So he was he was born to be sent by this pagan God, which will have been a lower level God. But then he promoted himself when he changed his name to Antiochus Epiphanes that says that he is the almighty God. He, he, he even did some stuff in the temple of God that we'll see here in a second. Matter of fact, let's go over and let's take a look at that. The first book of Maccabees is where we hear about this guy named Antiochus Epiphanes. You see him right there in verse 10? Yeah. Go ahead and read verse 10 if you don't mind. Okay. Verse 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surname Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been an hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of Greeks. Yep. So now this is an introduction to this Antiochus Epiphanes. Um, we see this in the first book of Maccabees. But let's look down here and let's see what he actually did. Now, out of the same chapter, we could jump down and we could see what this Antiochus Epiphanes did down and start first in verse 54 when he built an abomination of desolation upon the altar there in Jerusalem. This guy, what he did was he built an altar on top of the altar that was um, that was in place that they had already built in the temple of the Lord. He actually put another altar on top of it and actually sacrificed a pig. On the altar. Well, that's evil. <laughs> and then, but that was on the 15th day of the month Kaslu. But you look down in verse 59 and you can see what he did on the uh, 25th day of that same month. Read verse 59. Okay. 59. Now the 5 and 20th day of the month. They did sacrifice upon the idol altar, which was upon the altar of God. So this is actually the day that he, he sacrificed that pig on the 25th day of the ninth month or the 25th day of the month Kislu. So Kislu is actually the ninth month on the sacred calendar. So this act that Antiochus Epiphanes did fell on the 25th day of the ninth month. Now, of course, the sacred calendar is based on the lunar cycle. That's why we, you know, try to go out there and view the new moon every month, right? Yeah. Well, we can see in, we're looking at the lunar cycle for December of 2020. But remember that this Antiochus Epiphanes did this act back there in 1968, right? Yeah. So when we come back and we look at, not 1968, but 168 B.C., 168 years before the birth of Christ, we had this Antiochus Epiphanes in the ninth month, which we said falls between November and December, and that year happened to be December, and he did it on the 25th day of December. Well, when you come in and you look at this calendar here, you'll see that the new moon actually fell around the first day of the uh, month. It actually fell on the first. So, the first day of the lunar month was around December the 1st in the year 168 BC. So that would mean that the 25th day of the uh, uh, lunar month, Kislev, actually fell on the 25th day of December, which is Christmas. So he made that sacrifice on Christmas Day. And that's what they're celebrating, his sacrifice of a pig. Um, not so fast. Because this holiday that he was doing on December the 25th was already in effect long time before him. Remember, he was named, this Antiochus Epiphanes was named after this Greek god. Well, let's look at this Greek god a little bit closer. See, there on the screen, you see the name of that Greek god. Again, we're forbidden from pronouncing that name. But you see that that's the god of the sun. And it says that, it was, that this god of the sun was born on December the 25th, the day of the winter solstice. So that's why he was making 
this sacrifice on December the 25th. Remember, he was named after this God. That was his original name. He was named after this God. Yeah. So he was celebrating the birthday of this God by making a sacrifice on December the 25th. Make sense? And that's on the same day that Christ was born? Oh, um, no. Christ wasn't born on December the 25th. Christ was actually born on or around the Feast of Tabernacles during the seventh month. He wasn't born in December the 25th at all. This is, this is um, all part of the Christmas holiday. Christmas is on December the 25th. Have you ever wondered what Santa Claus has to do with Jesus? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. It, it Actually, Santa Claus falls... On this whole December the twenty fifth thing, that's 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 why the, that's what they're celebrating is this the God of the Sun. We can get into how um, the Catholic Church combined the birth of Christ with the birth of this Sun God to make Christmas a Christian holiday. But we'll save that for another class, okay? <laughs> yeah. So the so it's obvious that what was going on back there in Jerusalem in the year 168 BC was occurring on Christmas. It was actually a Christmas celebration that was put on by this Antiochus Epiphanes. But the question is, what is the relationship between this and Hanukkah? Why am I keep saying that Hanukkah is the new Christmas? Well, let me show you. Another time when we hear about the 2015th uh, day of the ninth month or the month Keslev. So when we forward in the story to chapter four in the first book of Maccabees, we see what also happened on the five and 20th day of the ninth month, which is called Keslev or Kislev. It's showing that they're starting to celebrate on that day. Read right there in verse, verse 53. It says, and they offered sacrifice according to the law upon the new altar and burnt offerings, which they had made. So what's going on here is after this Antiochus Epiphany had destroyed the old altar, even, even sacrificed a pig on it. So they didn't want to use it anymore. And ran all of the people out of the temple and declared himself God. He even, you know, put a statue of himself up in the up in the temple to to show that he is God. And he had the people out there in the wilderness for several years because they weren't allowed to keep the feast days in the temple. But what happened was the guy named Maccabees, Judas Maccabees, and some other warriors actually take back the temple. They've recaptured the temple by now. We see up here in chapter four, and now they're creating a celebration, a brand new celebration, never heard of, a brand new holy day, the one we call Hanukkah, and they're celebrating on what day? The same exact day that Antiochus Epiphanes sacrificed a pig on the altar on Christmas Day. So essentially, what we're reading here, and we jump down to uh, um, verse uh, 59. Read verse 59. 59. Moreover, Judas and his brother, with the whole congregation of Israel, ordained that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their season from year to year. By the space of eight days, from the five and twentieth day of the month, Kislu, with mirth and gladness. So they have established this same day, which was Christmas Day back in 168 BC. Christmas Day, they they they've ne or which 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 in one six like we showed before on that calendar that it actually fell on Christmas in 168 BC it doesn't fall that on that same day every year but in 168 BC it actually fell on Christmas that's when they actually did it on Christmas but from then on from chapter 4 on it's actually become a decree or ordinance or whatever you want to call it that 
we would celebrate Hanukkah. We would celebrate this day here on the 25th day of the ninth month. In other words, they have replaced Christmas, the Christmas celebration by Antiochus Epiphanes with Hanukkah. Yeah. Hanukkah is the new Christmas. So we would... Um, why is it on 15th day, though? Why is it on this certain day, the 25th day? The same day that... Why is it on the, the, the 25th day of Kislu? Because they wanted to have the dedication ceremony. They wanted to have this this uh, uh, feast day, this day of Hanukkah, celebrating on the same day that Antiochus desecrated the altar. Like taking it back. Taking it back. They took it back. They stamped out his what he did by turning it into a holy day on the 25th day of Kislu. According to the sacred calendar now, so it's not what we would do on December the 25th every year, but we would do it on Hanukkah every year. But the point is, is that Hanukkah replaced Christmas. Yeah. So this was a surprise to me. I just found this out, you know, not too long ago. That's why I wanted to do this class. I apologize for the low quality of it, but, you know, I just wanted to, you know, let everybody know what I had found. Hanukkah is the new Christmas. What do you think about that, Stay? Well, just sitting here listening to you guys um, have the class, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, they basically just put a new name on Christmas. They're just calling it Hanukkah, but they're, it's still basically the same day. Still ce celebrating it the same way? No, Hanukkah is not celebrated the same way at all. We, we, matter of fact, we, we can see here in this verse, or I may have to go to another verse, but you actually celebrate Hanukkah the same way you celebrate tabernacles. Hanukkah is like a tabernacle celebration. Okay, so let me, let me try to understand what you're saying. You're saying Hanukkah is a new Christmas. Hanukkah replaced Christmas, where Antiochus Epiphanes went in and had his Christmas celebration. Now they're actually going to make this Different way of, of worshiping the Father, worshiping a different God. We're worshiping the Almighty God now. We're actually doing this on the same day that he profaned the altar. Okay, I see what you're saying. All right, if you would, read verse 18. Okay, verse 18. Therefore, whereas we are now purposed to keep the purification of the temple upon the five and twentieth day of the month, Caslu, we thought it necessary to certify you thereof that you also might keep it as the feast of tabernacles and of the fire which was given us when Nehemiah offered sacrifice after that he had built the temple and the altar. So just like we have a tabernacle celebration in the seventh month, now we have in a second tabernacles type celebration on the 25th day of the ninth month and that is Hanukkah that's what we call Hanukkah it's an eight days eighth day it lasts for eight days it starts on the 25th day and it lasts for eight days it starts on the 25th day of, of the ninth month of the ninth month Kis Lu or Kis Lev and it lasts for eight days and it lasts for eight days okay but the thing is that it started off being the replacement for Christmas. Hanukkah replaced Christmas. We'll see here that they've tapped out the work of Antiochus Epiphanes, got rid of the altar, built a whole new altar, and now every year they're going to have this celebration on the on the same day, just on a lunar cycle. So are what you're saying is Hanukkah was supposed to come in and replace Christmas? What do you mean was supposed to? It, it, Antiochus Epiphanes, he never was supposed to do what he did. He did yeah. a wicked act yeah. on Christmas. Mm -hmm. But it just so happened that Christmas of 168 BC fell on the 25th day of the ninth month. So from then on, on the 25th day of the ninth month, 
everybody is going to have a tabernacles type celebration to honor what we now call Hanukkah. Hanukkah is is the replacement or the alter they're opposite. The opposite of one another. You, I mean, we see them competing now where, you know, there's yeah. people mm -hmm. who want to celebrate Hanukkah, people who want to mix them up together, you know, stuff like that. But it, when it started originally, Hanukkah started off to replace Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see what you're saying. All right. I'm just trying to... For, uh, I'm trying to to let it make sense to me. Well, let's, maybe everybody else is having trouble. I know you came in at the end of this conversation, mm -hmm. but let's see. What, what, what are you, what, what are you having trouble with? What I'm having trouble with is I'm trying to understand if you're saying that Hanukkah replaced Christmas. Is that a bad thing or if Hanukkah replaced Christmas is a good thing because we know that Christmas it has was is celebrated as you know as as worshiping different deities and, and things sun like god that. worship yeah so Hanukkah coming in to replace it is seem like I'm not, I'm wondering if you're saying and it doesn't make sense that you would say this is that Hanukkah is coming in to to allow you to worship the sun? Allow it's no. like a replacement for Christmas. You said Hanukkah Christmas. is a replacement for Christmas. Let's define this replacement. It's Get rid is gotten rid of, is done away with, is gone. That one that holiday is you ain't celebrating sacrificing pigs on the altar on December twenty fifth anymore. Mm -hmm. You are celebrating a tabernacles type celebration on the Ninth month, twenty fifth day of the month. Okay, all right, that makes sense. It, 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 make it make sense the way like this. How many years have you celebrated Christmas in your lifetime? Uh, forty-seven, forty-eight. Forty-seven, forty-eight years you celebrated Christmas. Yes. All of a sudden, you ain't gonna celebrate Christmas no more. You're not gonna worship the sun anymore. Mm -hmm. You're going to celebrate Hanukkah. Mm -hmm. Hanukkah has replaced your Christmas. Yeah. You don't do Christmas anymore. Yeah. You now do Hanukkah. Yeah. Hanukkah is the is the new Christmas. Replacement for Christmas. Okay. All right. Now yeah. it makes sense? Yeah, you gotta break stuff down to me, really, because you know sometimes I'm a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make sense to you, Journey? Yes. Mm -hmm. Journey said she got a long time ago. All right. Well, hopefully it makes sense to everybody. If it doesn't, jump down in the comment section of this video, and we'll continue to hammer this out. Like I said, I'm excited about this news. I this I just found this out not too not too long ago. You know, many people are talking about you know how he done this act on Christmas, and I'm like, you know, it tells us to do Hanukkah on the same exact day. So Hanukkah is replacing Christmas. Hanukkah is the new Christmas. So like I said, drop down in the comment section, hit the like button if you gotten anything out of this video or hit the dislike button if you didn't and may our father bless you and provide peace in your life and shine his light upon you and we'll see you in the next video shalom shalom shalom